Hello once again, individuals, and welcome to another episode of the Kerbal Space Program. A little while back, Scott Manley posted a challenge that was basically get something in a suborbital space and back as quickly as possible. Most of the leading entries so far have had obscene amounts of thrust. The current winner has 22,000 kilonewtons of thrust in the first stage alone. Here I am trying to make an efficient little guy that can do this on 200 kilonewtons of thrust with only a single LVT45 liquid engine and actually get a reasonable time. Let's see how this goes. We are going to lift off in three, two, one, and we are off. Yeah, that's not very fast, but I'm going to pitch back and forth and all of a sudden we do start to go a little bit fast and wobble and vibrate and go kind of almost out of control. Yes, in the first 18 seconds of flight, I pass a thousand meters per second, which is better acceleration than many of the other entries. Unfortunately, I can't keep that acceleration up because it is due almost entirely to all those control surfaces. And so as a result, this little LVT45 engine can't get it above about 1100 meters per second in total. Now you can see that we are beginning to slow down because we're already at about yeah, 60 kilometers in altitude and still traveling at 600 meters per second. And you can see our apoapsis dropping. Now this is where I make my really big initial mistake. And this is that I unfortunately thrust a little bit too much, and so I have to thrust upwards to get my apoapsis up to 70 kilometers. Now, this actually cost me a couple of seconds. I think that I could have done this challenge about meh, five or so seconds shorter if it was not for this little wibbledy wobble but we are nonetheless now headed downwards at a nice speed. Now this is my first attempt out of two. Unfortunately, my first attempt didn't go as well as planned, and that was not because of the crazy acceleration that you get or the explosions that happened when this entire thing exploded, but rather that I deployed my parachute too high above the ground. So, loading the quick save, and you can just take a minute to note how quickly this thing accelerates in the lower atmosphere as a result of all of those lovely, lovely control surfaces. Now, you can see here that, whoa my goodness, we are heading through the lower atmosphere at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 2,000 meters per second. The engine shears off, the entire thing shears to bits, and at the very last moment, I deploy the parachute for 3 minutes and 23 seconds. That is probably the best time that I'm going to get with this challenge because I don't want to attempt redoing this because it's very difficult to control. But that was a lot of fun! Well, I guess that's it for this episode. Have a very nice day, individuals. Like, favorite, subscribe, and share, please, for more Kerbal Space Program videos. And I'll see you next time with another episode of my favorite game. Peace!